So everybody knows that there's a new uh, biography of Richard a- of uh, Roger Ailes. He's the Fox News chief. Uh, and as I was saying in the intro to the program, it's really interesting when a book like this comes out that you generically know is going to be he's a pretty terrible person. Uh, he's an ultra right wing partisan. And, uh, you know, I guess to give credit where credit is due, clearly he has some tremendous talent as a media entrepreneur. Obviously, he's using all of his talents for uh, for evil, but credit where credit is due. Uh, the guy is very good at his business and knows his business. And really what his business is, actually even more so than a TV entrepreneur, is as a grand Republican strategist. And, you know, this book by uh, Gabriel uh, Sherman, definitely uh, the loudest voice in the room, definitely really goes a lot towards showing uh, just how far uh, Fox is and Roger Ailes is into the kind of heart and brain of the Republican Party uh, and the Republican movement to the point where he's maybe, as some people, more and more people are saying recently, maybe more of a shaper uh, of that message, not a, a conduit for it, but actually Fox News is driving it. But, we, you know, we say that a lot in this program, a lot of people have kind of picked up to it. Another picked up on that. Another thing that's interesting about this book, and I'm going to get to a couple of anecdotes, some of which are funny, some of which are incredibly disturbing. They're all sort of funny. But it's the the extent to which, you know, we have this narrative still that in some ways that there's the Republican base and maybe even some Congress people who are in the Tea Party or something, and they're kind of the rubes. And they're the people who think that the earth is flat and they're obsessed with gay people and abortion. And they have Stone Age unpleasant views on things. And 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 in some cases, you know, they, they might be the guy who is or the family who's making very little money, but still votes for uh, policies that will harm them because they identify with ultra right wing social views uh, or have or, or believe in the kind of conspiracy universe of Glenn Beck or Alex Jones. And then you have the bosses, the money people, the people who don't really care about any of that stuff. And they just want a tax cut. Bless you, Matt. They just want a tax cut and they just want uh, uh, favors from the government. And I think that that is true enough in some ways. But what the Roger Ailes book is showing is that this guy who is a power broker, who is a incredibly wealthy and influential person at the heart of American media power and politics is a lunatic. He's out of his mind. He makes Glenn Beck seem rational and pleasant. This isn't a. slick media guy playing the rubes on TV. He is the number one rube. And that's why he's able to program so well to them because he's a lunatic. If any of the anecdotes in this book are true, all of which I personally believe in, it's a very well-sourced book. So let me give you a few examples. I'll start. Well, this is one of just more of the way Roger Ailes is an a-hole. So we already know Sam talked about The allegation in the book that when he was working, I believe, at NBC, Roger Ailes tried to negotiate a contract where it was it was an extra hundred bucks a week. Hundred bucks a week to have sex with Roger Ailes anytime he wants. Anytime he wants. To be fair to Roger Ailes, uh, adjusted for uh, for uh, inflation, it was something like two hundred and sixty eight dollars in today's money. It was a pretty generous offer, and also Uh, still no, still not a generous (laughs) offer. But (laughs) so Roger Ailes is. Totally disgusting on every level. So Sam talked about that offering. I, to, I, I don't know what world do you think two hundred sixty eight dollars in today's money is a generous offer for sex anytime with Roger Ailes. Oh, so, I, okay. in reality, I mean, you could, I, I, you could, you could offer him, uh, you know, every single share in Bitcoin. Uh, if he offered that to a woman, it would not be worth it. I, I mean, he's truly a full spectrum repugnant human being. Uh, but this is another this is this little side quip because I we discovered an employee at Fox that Roger Ailes has probably not made the same offer to. And that is Gretchen Carlson. <laughs> because Gretchen Carlson, who as we all know is a particularly perky, particularly stupid, particularly obnoxious Fox News anchor, very uh, you know, she doesn't get enough credit. She's a key fighter uh, in the defense of Christmas from the war that we're waging on it. Now, with all that said, which yes. is completely true about Gretchen Carlson and yes. her, her political views and yes. her, her just views on life in general. Yes. 
this this is crossing a line where it's just it's wrong. It's, oh, Roger Ailes is do. a terrible human being, but let's, but, let's but, hear what he but has to say, say about say Gretchen Carlson. Gretchen Carlson doesn't have to worry about the offer uh, that he made to this producer coming to him uh, for a hundred bucks a week or two hundred bucks a week for sex with him anytime, anywhere. <laughs> This is according to Gabriel Sherman's book. When Gretchen Carlson's name came up, Ailes pointed out that she was once a Miss America, which I didn't know. He then added, must not have been a good year. (laughs) What a jerk. (laughs) So that's just the beginning, okay? So now we're in the, like, continuation of the Roger Ailes is just like a dirtbag beat. (laughs) 